Hey everyone, since last year, video calls have been an inescapable part of life, along with all of the annoyances that come with them. Unfortunately, most laptops don't have very good webcams. So what if you could use your phone's main camera as your webcam instead? It turns out that you can with the help of a couple of free apps. But which one is the best and how exactly do these work? I'm Angie for GSM Arena and these are the best Android apps for replacing your webcam in 2021. First question, is setting this up difficult? Not at all. Aside from a phone and your computer, you might want to have your charging cable at hand, along with a mini tripod or a stack of books so that you don't have to prop up your phone against the screen. Then just download your app of choice and you'll either link it up with the cable via Bluetooth or via Wi-Fi. A cable will have less lag, but all of the apps support wireless connections as well. The apps we've chosen are free, though they also have pro versions with extra features. And there are pros and cons to each one. Now onto the list. The first app on our list is called Arian, and thanks to the option of capturing 4K footage in its free version, it's also one of the most popular apps that we've found. You will also need to download the application onto your PC in order to get it to work. Actually, for most of these, you'll need to download a PC application. While it's a bit of extra setup, this allows for a custom driver level piece of code to be installed and it will let Zoom or any other video call app to see your phone like a regular USB webcam. One of the best features of Arian is that increased resolution doesn't hurt latency too much. With the strong Wi-Fi connection, there's only a one second delay at 4K in comparison to half a second at 360p. Even if the connection weakens, it recovers automatically and quickly, so it won't be too annoying to use. Latency can be a huge deal breaker with webcam apps and generally with this one, your audio and video will be in sync. This is what footage on Arian looks like in comparison to a regular webcam. It has no ads and the free version just has an unobtrusive watermark that fades in occasionally. Really, it seems to have just one weakness of note. Its audio capture quality leaves much to be desired. So if you can, you should just stick with the built-in mic on your laptop. So how does this pro version differ from the regular version? First, there's no watermark, and second, you can use it to capture audio. But like we just said, that's not a strength of this app, so it's a consideration only if you have no mic built into your computer. IV Cam Webcam is up next, and it too offers 4K resolution capture on its free tier. Actually, the resolution options go all the way up to 4K at 60fps, though it's a bit of a mystery why you'd want 60fps from a webcam. There's a high latency over wireless connections when you're capturing those high resolutions, Whereas when capturing 720p footage, there's barely any lag at all. Unfortunately, unlike Arian, restoring connectivity after losing a Wi-Fi signal isn't automatic and it always requires some sort of manual intervention. Like Arian, it too has a Windows app and actually you'll find some options only on the Windows app, like choosing between portrait or landscape mode. It actually has a huge number of options, from toggles for autofocus, exposure, white balance, and you'll even find a beauty filter toggle. There's a quality slider in settings too, though we didn't notice it making much of a difference. Still, when you compare it to an actual laptop web camera, then the difference is quite stark. The only option you can only adjust from the app on your phone is which camera you're using. So either the selfie camera or whatever the app deems to be your main camera. The free version has ads at the start and end of a video session only in the smartphone app. What does get annoying is the watermark as it's much less subtle than Arian's. Audio capture with this app was just no. In the free version, there are constant voice prompts, the quality is awful, and it was consistently lagging behind. You should also know that if you lock your phone, the connection automatically gets severed. XSplit is popular for streamers, though it's not quite as popular as the previous two we've mentioned, possibly due to a lack of 4K support and not as much advertising. XSplit works at 720p as a whole, even if you purchase the premium version, which only really removes the annoying watermark. So with the lower resolution, why consider this app at all? Well, the app's biggest strength is its very, very low lag. We couldn't even reliably measure it when we were testing it out. Sadly, it can't capture audio from your phone at all. Also, if your network has any issues, XSplit does an excellent job of recovering from connection loss. On the software side of things, you can choose between a main cam and a selfie cam. Frustratingly, the main camera is automatically locked to landscape mode, while the selfie camera is locked into portrait mode. In general, it goes in the opposite direction of the IV cam app, and here you're faced with simplicity rather than overwhelming video capture options. 
I found it to be the easiest to set up, and even though it can't capture footage at 4K, it's still very, very good, especially when you compare it to what your laptop can capture. What you will find is a flashlight toggle, white balance, and brightness settings. On the Windows application, you'll find hardware acceleration, a quality selector, and the ability to remove your camera background and substitute it with anything. You can even choose stock photos directly from unsplash.com through the app. Actually, you could potentially use one of the other apps to deliver the feed to your PC, and then use XSplit for the background effects alone. Though with Zoom and Skype having those features natively, it might not be worth the effort. Droid Cam is one of the oldest options on our list, and you can tell by the old-fashioned UI. As far as connectivity was concerned, we quite like this app. Latency is low while using either Wi-Fi or a USB connection, and you can put the phone in Wi-Fi hotspot mode and connect your PC to that while using the app. Unfortunately, you'll need to restart the app if there is any connection loss. While you can capture footage at 480p without a watermark, you'll need the premium version to unlock the 720p and the 1080p resolutions. The pro version also includes flip and rotation controls, screenshots, zoom controls, and a camera flashlight toggle. Seemingly, it makes a lot more sense to pay for the premium version of DroidCam if you're going to be using it a lot, but it is frustrating because other apps include those features for free. So why include this on our list at all? What makes it unique is that this is the only app so far that has good microphone capture. Not only was there low latency, it was surprisingly good quality. Even better, you can grab audio from any connected Bluetooth device, like your earbuds. You can actually use the app without installing a Windows client, but a lot of latency is introduced and audio capture basically becomes impossible due to a 5 second lag. Speaking of the Windows client, DroidCam is really simple and straightforward, and even included a phone battery readout. The last option on our list is quite different in that it uses solutions like MJPEG or RTSP to stream video from your smartphone. This means that you get major lag, and at 720p, you get around a second delay, and at higher resolution, it goes up to three seconds. We chose this app because of all the apps in this category, it has the most features while being free. There's only a watermark if you record videos, and it's not there while streaming. It can go above 4K if your camera can shoot at that resolution, and it can support pretty much any frame rate. This is the sort of tech that is more useful for surveillance purposes, whether it be your front door or your dog. There were plenty of filters available and all sorts of video manipulations that you can choose from. You can even record audio through the phone. In general, this is a really cool piece of software, but while you can set it up as a webcam, it's a little overwhelming to do so as an average user. Still, here are some screen caps that we got with it if you're curious and want to mess around with it. So if you need a webcam solution ASAP, which one should you choose? Well, it really depends on your use case. But whatever you end up choosing, it will be miles better than what your laptop or your external webcam can capture. For most people, Arian and IV Cam have plenty of options and are easy to set up, so they'll be very good for the majority of your use cases. They support 4K capture even on their free tier. Arian is slightly better if you have a more iffy Wi-Fi connection because it reconnects automatically, while IV Cam is for you if you want all of the videography options and to explore with settings and all of that. XSplit is our top choice if you want an app with excellent latency and background effects, while DroidCam is for you if you want to record decent audio and if you want to use your phone as a hotspot. Finally, if you really want to mess around and use your phone for random projects or for surveillance purposes, IP Webcam is the one that you should download. Thank you for watching everyone, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.